Hey, it's Tom Hazard here. I'm just going to go over our uh, 3D printed bow tie. Just wanted to show you here a couple things in this video. Um, this is the print after it comes off the build plate. There was a little raft under each of these, but that just you know fell off. Um, but what I want to point out is this support material is material that I modeled. I didn't have the slicing software generated at all, including right here these sort of sort of like the McDonald's golden arches really. I find that that's a great structure. It's about three millimeters in diameter and then have an arch going up and it forms really well without any problem but you can see here I had a little uh, part which is sort of a, a handle really for your finger to manipulate some parts here that I needed support and it was cantilevered out and the only way you know I could do that was to create my own support. Uh, if I hadn't created my own support if he used uh, software, uh, slicing software generated support, it would have filled all these areas up in here to give you know support to other parts. And I, I designed this entire piece to really not need computer generated support in most areas, but there's a few places I had to do it. So anyway, I'm going to show you here just how easily this you know breakaway support that I created just breaks away and really there's very little cleanup that this part needs that this uh, entire uh, part needs but the most important thing I want to show you after I get the support out of the way is the moving parts that I created which were functional for attaching a uh, you know attaching the bow tie to your shirt so you can see here I'm just breaking away all this support and that's that's pretty easily done now these two pieces here are designed to be hinged right now they're, they're static parts they don't move and because there's like a socket down here and then the pin of the hinge and they're designed just the right distance apart um, so that once they break free they'll hinge and pivot fine but prior to that uh, they form and you know the 3d printer can build them without any trouble and without having to generate any um, support material and certainly I don't want to assemble parts after the fact so what I do here is I'm going to rotate it clockwise first a little bit and I push you see I push it with my thumb I don't know if you could see that but it moved there uh, and it had never been rotated prior so now I've done it back and forth a couple times and there's a limit to how far it can travel this hinge here has a stop point it goes back and stops on another piece so do one side and then I'm going to rotate this one counterclockwise and then back and there you go. Now these parts um, are already pre-assembled. All I had to do was rotate them slightly to break apart the tiny amount of PLA that was holding them together. And the way this mechanism works is you, you take the top button of your you know dress shirt and it slides up into here and it finds a seat inside of here is a molded area uh, or a shaped area that the, your typical button size sits in and then you know you wear it all day long it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to come off when you want to take it off you would reach your finger behind um, you know or in from the side and and push one or both of these in and when you do that it, it kind of releases the button and then it can slide back down and out so this little mechanism I came up with to be able to attach the bow tie or not. So anyway, um, hope that's useful. I know it was hard listening to the podcast to maybe visualize some of that, uh, but that is a little uh, insight and uh, view into the 3D printed bow tie that we talked about in uh, episode 469 of WTFFF 3D printing podcast. Thanks a lot, everybody.